everybody, 8 a.m. here on the East Coast, 1010 WVHS, The Enthusiasm, here with my colleague, Ed Hardeny. How you doing, Rob? Uh, very sad news today, folks. Um, very sad. Age 57, Hall of Fame catcher Kerry Carter the dies. Kid. Has been in a hospital for the past weeks now. He's had a brain tumor. Very emotional day for many. Um, a great, an all-around great baseball player, one of the best. Um, you know, to me, I remember him, you know, he's in the Hall of Fame as an expo, but I remember him as a great Met, you know, part of that championship team, a great guy. Yeah, I mean, not too many people remember, he's the one who had that leadoff single to start the rally in the sixth game of the World Series in 1986. I mean, the guy, 57 years old, that's way too young. And the worst part is the brain tumor actually went away for a good two or three months, and then to hear, it, to hear news like this, it's very sad. Uh, you know, one... One thing that really stuck out to me, Daryl Strawberry, he said uh, yes. a great quote. He said, you know, I wish I lived my life like Gary Carter. And that really stuck me. You know, Daryl struggles, you know, with the drugs and all. And for him to say something about that, about his true friend Gary Carter, very, very powerful. You know, a very, very, um, a class act really on the field Gary Carter was, on and off the field. Yeah. You know, and he surely will be missed. Dwight Gooden this week said he was his best friend. Yeah. He was a great guy. Very, will be missed, Gary Carter. Remember him as a Met, one of the, you know, a very good catcher. Hall of Fame, well-deserved. All right, well, now it's some more bright news. We got this superstar, Asian sensation, Jeremy Lin. What do you got for me, Rob? Jeremy Lin, you know, he's, he's back with Carmelo this Friday night against the Hornets. You know, it's going to be a game that's going to be hard to tell where they're going to go on in the future. I mean, it's the Hornets. Clearly the worst team. Kings, that you know, Lynn's game from now on is not going to be 35 points because you don't do that from Lynn. You don't need that from your point guard. Yeah. You know, if you could score 10, 15, and then have 11 assists, 10 assists, 15 assists, that is a good point guard. Let me tell you. Yeah. And he did that with with, with Stat and the other guys against the Kings, and that was a blowout. You know. But you figure if Dan, if uh, Dan Tony's smart, he might try to work Jeremy Lin into a new position. Instead of being the shooting guard like Carmelo is, maybe get both of them shooting guard, point guard combo. I don't know. But uh, obviously, this is a big game for Carmelo. Maybe the biggest in his career. Because if he loses to the well, the New Orleans Hornets, that he, I think, I honestly think he's going to get run out of New York. Jeremy Lin Fever is going to take over. You know, it's funny because you know we've had the seven wins in a row. They're back to 500. They got the eight spot. They're they got a playoff shot. They got a contending team now. With Melo, you'll see, and maybe not to the Hornets, are they the team that could beat the Sixers, the Bulls? Are they that team, compete with the Heat? Or are they going to struggle with Melo? Is Melo's playing type the play where he will hog the ball and try and do everything he can himself? And what I'm trying to say is we probably won't see that tonight against the New Orleans Hornets. Hell, Jeremy Lin might not even play the whole game because that's how bad they are. But it's exciting for him to come back because now we will see in next week's games, we will see in the future how he handles with two, you know, he's had stat, you know, that's great. He'll have two superstars on the team. But now I, gotta ha I hate to ask this, but is Lin just a bright star that's about to fade or will he stick around? Because from the way I see it, there's been a bunch of guys like this. I mean, you'll... You look at many of them, like, uh, what is it, Ricky Rubio. Big sensation. Everybody, oh, point guard from Spain. Going to come over. He's going to come on in the boat. He's going to come off. He's going to shoot threes. He's going to dribble. He's going to shoot. He's going to pass. He's going to be great. But, I mean, he's really just an assist guy. He hasn't been the big thing. He was good for about two weeks, but I just don't want to see this happen to Lynn. So. You know what? I got to disagree with you. Lynn outdueling Kobe Bryant against the aforementioned Los Angeles Lakers. I don't see him as that. I see him as a guy who never got the chance, is getting his playing time now and proving it. This is a guy that knows basketball. Maybe, you know, are you going to compare him to Michael Jordan now, LeBron James? No, obviously not. But let me tell you, his stats don't lie. You know, those stats are correct. I'll tell you that. I don't think, I don't think he's going to fade out. I think this is a great basketball player. He knows the game well. And he'll be good. He'll be good. I think he'll be a good team. He'll be a good guy in the future. He's just one of those guys that's nice to have in the clubhouse, too. 
I mean, he, he's a nice kid. Everybody likes him. No bad things to say about him. He's a good, uplifting spirit. Now, in other news, we got the Rangers. It was bad to lose to a team like Chicago Blackhawks. We got, like we said, Melo, is he going to play this Friday? We're not really sure. He's still injured, maybe. But we got really incredible news about LeBron James. He said some, you know, he had a game. He had a game in uh, Cleveland last night. And he said something pretty crazy. Well, let's not get too high. I mean, James says he's happy to play for the Heat, but he wouldn't rule out a return to the Cavs. So, you know, that is crazy. You know, he signed a seven-year deal with the Miami Heat. Miami, you know, the baseball team, they got a new stadium. Miami is flourishing, baby. Why would anyone want to leave this? I mean, he's got Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh on his side. Would he return to Cleveland? I think he's just trying to spark up something. I really don't know. Well, I really don't know. Well, Rob, I hate to cut you off, but we got to go. But tonight's games include the New York Knicks versus the New Orleans Hornets at 8, New Jersey Devils versus Anaheim Ducks at 7, New York Islanders versus Car uh, Carolina Hurricanes at 7, and the Columbia Lions versus the Princeton Tigers, also at 7. Have a good day, folks. We'll see you later. The Enthusiast.